you're the poo guy. I've been labelled with that for years. I know everything about poo. <laughs> Absolutely everything. We find all sorts of horrible things from people's teeth to old pairs of undies. We did have one of my friend's kids used to write notes on the toilet paper and flush it and hope I'd read them. The one of the strangers one time we went to Bendigo and the whole pondage system was a, just a flood with corn. We think there must have been a festival and nobody chewed. We're out at the Werribee treatment plant where probably half of Melbourne's toiletries go. Everything is biologically bad in this pond. So everything you do, much as it looks pleasant and it's a very nice pond, anything in this thing is going to make you sick if you get it on you. The type of diving we're doing is known as encapsulated diving, so that you're fully sealed into the unit like an astronaut suit. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Loud and clear. Tell me. Yeah, really good. Clearer in that hat. Louder in that hat. Yeah, Roger. Where you're seeing the double pipes down here, we're working at each one of those double pipes. So we work at one set, then we swim under across to the next set, and we've just got to pull them down further and try and create more buoyancy out of them. Okay, guys, got to start stripping. really peaceful. Phone doesn't work. You only get one person can talk to you at a time. It's thick and sludgy. It's like being in a thick mud. So every now and then you go to walk and your suit gets stuck in the mud. You just gotta, it's like a gumboot. Twitch your leg and just keep moving until you get it free and then go again. You kind of get used to keeping your eyes closed. So you'll have visibility for about 300 mil where it's this nice yellow colour, and then beyond that, it just goes pitch black. You're relying 100% on your skills because you can't see anything. So you're going by the mental picture you've created before you go in there, and then your hands actually see what you're doing. You just get a picture, and all guys will say the same. They get a really good mental picture of what they're doing, even though they can't see it. The dive was good, it was a lot of hard work. Uh, absolutely no vision whatsoever throughout the whole dive, so everything was by feel. When you're commercially diving, it really doesn't matter. You could be any, anywhere where there's work, that's how we make our money. The guys have a saying that it smells like money when you come out here. We got asked to do a TV show one time when my, a couple of my girls were very young do a live TV interview. And I told them about it and they started to cry because they said it was bad enough they knew what I did for a living. They didn't want all their school friends to know as well. I do big hours, big days, I work most days of the week and I do really enjoy my job, I'm pretty lucky.